Hey friends, today we are hanging out in the Magic Kingdom and I am so excited. It is so beautiful out and Disney just announced a bunch of new stuff to do inside the park. So I figured I'd come on out and make a little video and show you guys. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It seems like it's a pretty slow day in the park, probably because it's so hot out. The temperature is 89 degrees out right now, but it says it feels like it's 94, and there's only one mile per hour wind. One. It is increasingly getting hotter here in Florida. We've been in the 80s for the past week, but in just two days, they're predicting it to jump up to 100 degree weather out. So uh, it's going to be a hot, humid day in the park, and I'm going to try to stay as cool as possible. But also, I just want to have fun. I just want to let loose and just run around the Magic Kingdom and, you know, ride rides and eat food, like I said. So hopefully it's going to be a nice, easy day full of a lot of fun things to do. Like I already mentioned, I bought Genie Plus and a Lightning Lane for Tron, so I kind of want to just do a big wrap around. I want to do a little wrap around the Magic Kingdom and start in Adventureland and just make our way all the way around. When I say a nice little wrap around, I mean I want to go in Adventureland, make my way all the way around Frontierland, then through Liberty Square, through Storybook Circus, and then through Tomorrowland and back out on Main Street USA. Nice big old wrap around. Recently, Disney announced a bunch of news for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party this year, and they didn't change much. Like, they didn't add anything to the event. I know that we're gonna get some new costumes, so probably some more villains. The parade, Boo to You, starts an hour early, but I kinda wanna see some big changes. No matter what, I'm gonna go because I just love Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I mean, even though I want changes, I mean, I would rather have what it is now than not have it at all because I love it so much. But uh, I'm excited. But let me know in the comments if you guys are excited and if maybe I'll see you guys there on opening night. Here is a look at the wait times for today. Jungle Cruise has a 65 minute wait, Haunted Mansion 55, Mickey uh, Town Square is 50 minutes, and the virtual queue is still open. Look at that, you can just join the Tron virtual queue. Oh man, that means I just wasted $20 on the lightning lane. If I can avoid buying Genie Plus, I try to avoid it, but days like today when it's super hot out, even if it's a 30 minute wait, it will literally suck like three hours out of the day from you because it's so hot. So I'm gonna try to navigate through the park without having to wait for anything and without spending any more money because I already spent $27 for the original one and then $20 for Tron. So we'll see how much we can get done. And also I need to get something to eat. And like I mentioned, Disney announced a bunch of new snacks. so. Uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. Like I said, I'm excited. It's almost time for our lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain. So I think I'm gonna head uh, straight back to Frontierland. Oh, but I wonder if they got the beignets out. Oh, I love those beignets. And this golden oak outpost usually closes early. So maybe we uh, pit stop for beignets and then uh, Big Thunder Mountain. And look at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Holy moly, so much has come along. It kind of blows my mind the fact that I just rode Splash Mountain like three weeks ago in Tokyo Disneyland and I'm gonna eventually be able to ride Tiana's Bayou Adventure in just a couple of weeks. Like it just happened so fast and I'm excited. Like I said, I'm excited to see what they can come up with and uh, I've already uh, kind of had a, a couple of details. Like I know, I know some things just only because I went to New Orleans with uh, Disney and the Imagineers who are creating this attraction so uh, there's a lot to be excited for trust me looks like the beignets at the golden outpost are gone now but i grabbed a nice little frozen lemonade just so i can keep cool a little bit and uh yeah i have to drink it before i get on big thunder mountain hope i don't get brain freeze nothing like some ice cold lemonade <sighs> refreshing Oh boy. I feel like I'm doing some challenge here. Like, hi, I'm Paging Mr. Morrow, and this is the uh, Big Thunder Mountain Brain Freeze Challenge. It says the standby is 30 minutes for Big Thunder Mountain. What's going on here? 
That definitely does not look like a 30 minute line. In fact, it looks like it's an hour and 30 minutes, but it still says only 30 minutes standby. So luckily we do have that lightning lane. At first I was like, wait a second, but ooh, much too hot. And the worst part is there is absolutely no shade on Big Thunder Mountain. Once you get inside, it's covered, but there's like not much AC or air circulation. So it gets really steamy. Steamy on Big Thunder Mountain. I'm almost there. Oh, there we go. Best remove them. Oh man, that's sweaty. <laughs> Any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, best remove them, because this here is the wildest ride in the wilderness! Whee! Whoa! the castle isn't she a butte clark oh boy I knew you would, and it looks like we have one expected visitor with us. That got me a little loosey-goosey. I'm ready to go for the day now. I'm excited. And I think we're just gonna keep, you know, moving along, make our way through Frontierland, go through Liberty Square, Fantasyland, cut through Tomorrowland, and to Tron. That sounds like a, that sounds like a good path. I like how the water is starting to look a little uh, bayou-ish here, a little swampy. What's that, uh, what's that bird looking for? And I'm sure some of you guys have seen uh, Tiana's running. They actually, uh, they actually put out a sign that says, sorry friends, we are ride testing only, opening this summer. Wow, it's coming along quick. I was able to get a lightning lane for Winnie the Pooh, so I'm gonna make my way over there now. The Haunted Mansion has a 30 minute wait, so that's not too bad. It seems like it's, like, I, I mean, honestly, it's probably slow in the park today because like I said, the heat is a little, it's definitely the hottest day so far in 2024, so a lot of people are like, oh, let's stay inside today. And trust me, if you can see this much pavement over here in Fantasyland, that's just a good tell. And it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. Peter Pan's there too. Holy moly. Yeah. Hi, Peter. Hey, lost boy? Hi. Oh, for a lost boy, huh? Yeah. You grew up on me, did you? No, no, never grew up. Okay. Never grew up. Oh, no. Yeah, I wanted to get a photo real quick, see if I could join the Neverland tribe or come hang out in uh, Crocodile Creek. Well, you know, deep in this forest, that's where our hideout is. We didn't want to put it on the map because we don't want any pirates to find it, right? Yeah, good, we won't good. Tell anyone, will you? No hook. Okay, good. Secret safe with you, right? Yes. 
how about Peter Pan only having like three people waiting in line for him? So I hopped in line. I'm happy I did. He told me he hopes I never grow up. I said, I'll never grow up. And now we're going to keep moving along, con uh, continuing our little wraparound. Well, we officially made it halfway through our lap around Magic Kingdom. We started in the front, now we're in the back, and uh, yeah, I guess Winnie the Pooh is next. Winnie the Pooh! After we get done riding Winnie the Pooh, I want to go down into Storybook Circus, maybe ride the Barnstormer, or they have some new treats down there, and uh, kind of just relax a little bit and recharge, because uh, the heat is starting to take, take a toll on me. I feel it. I definitely feel it. My mom's favorite ride is Winnie the Pooh, and honestly, it's one of my favorite rides. I think it also has one of the coolest cues, especially because it has so many interactive things that you can do. No gophers allowed. I always think this is one of those games where you like whack the gopher, but there's not allowed. You can hang out in Pooh's house if you want and cool off. That's actually pretty nice. Look at it in here. Nice little tree. They've got a bee over there on the wall. Got a bookshelf right here. Very fancy. I love riding Winnie the Pooh. It always puts me in a good mood. And now, after I got done riding that, I booked another lightning lane for the Barnstormer because that was Ariel's first roller coaster. I remember we took her there. Uh, I think the first time she came to Magic Kingdom, I was going to have her ride her first roller coaster uh, on the first time she came to Magic Kingdom, but it closed suddenly. But I did get her to come back. We came back another day, and I spent uh, a day in the park with just my family having fun. And she rode it, and she loved it. And I wish I was filming that day because you should have seen her face. It was so priceless. I made my way down to Big Top Souvenirs, Big Top Billy Eilish, because I want to get something to eat in there before we go on the Barnstormer. Pete's going crazy up there. <laughs> See you guys. Ladies and gents, this here is your lucky day. The beautiful, the amazing, Minnie Manifique. They also have a new scavenger hunt here in uh, Storybook Circus where you uh, basically, it's like an interactive scavenger hunt where you go around and you have to smell things. And it kind of sounds interesting. So I think I'm going to try to find a map maybe after, uh, after we ride Barnstormer. I'm loving some of the new merchandise in uh, uh, Big Top here. They've got Dumbo pajamas and then they have like a circus kind of line over here where a lot of the stuff is like cotton candy themed. Like, look at that cotton candy ears at least that's what i think it is oh i like this walt disney world mug and i like how it actually uh has that retro walt disney world logo on it they got a nice little zipper up spirit jersey and they got the eat stuff over here yo that is a huge cell phone case who's got a cheeseburger as a cell phone case that's got to be hard to move along what is this for oh that's an earbud case I couldn't put that in my pocket. <laughs> like, I don't know how that's possible. I don't even know how much this is. Oh, but they do got a fancy little spinny. <gasps> Wait a second, look at this. This is cool. It's like a spinner uh, pop socket, but it has all Disney treats on it. So you can kind of use this as a uh, decision maker uh, for your treats. I think I need to get this. I think I need to get this like definitely. Something new they got in the case is a churro cookie. Look at that. $6.49. I feel like I definitely have to try it. So I bought one. I got a churro cookie and a s'mores rice crispy treat. Here it is, the churro Mickey cookie. And I'm excited. Someone said it's kind of like a snickerdoodle. And I can see that. Uh, but uh, it's mainly shortbread. The icing's a little bit uh, soft. And I figure we'll see how it is to break it open. Oh, wait, no. This is a... This is a Mickey-shaped cookie. We don't break the Mickey cookies, we eat the ears. So cheers. Cheers to the churro cookie. 
I ended up breaking the cookie anyway, but it tastes just like a brown sugar Pop-Tart. I like it, a little dry though. Oh, here comes the train. The churro cookie is delicious, I do like it, but I am just so interested in this S'mores Rice Krispie Treat. And look at the chocolate is melting. It doesn't even stand a chance. It is so hot out here. I like how you can see that graham crack right in the middle there. So here we go. That is seriously so good. A little bit melty and a little messy, but I would get this again. I love Rice Krispie treats and making a s'more out of it is just genius. Just genius, I tell ya. All right, well, enough of the snack business. Now I'm gonna put my snack business on my pop socket. And I can't wait to actually use this eventually. Not today, but I would kind of hope that it always lands on the pretzel. They got a Mickey Premium Bar. Uh, it looks like some a Mickey Pretzel. Cotton candy, Mickey macaroons, and uh, oh, cotton candy? I think that's it? Huh. I'm gonna play with this like all the time. And look, you can actually just spin it and be like, what do I wanna get next? Ah, a Mickey donut? Is that a donut? I don't even know what that is. Let's say a Mickey Sunday. Now I think it's time for the Barnstormer. Oh, I wonder if I could find one of the scavenger, ha uh, scavenger maps. First, you have to match it to the so outfit. Fun. They do smell, um, and then when you are done, you'll come back and get a little pin sticker. Yeah. Oh. I know. Wait, wait, I'm kind of... Well, that's kind of cool. This is completely free. And you just go around and you have to find the smell of fence on parade and then try to see what the smell is, like this one right here. Oh, I don't know what it is. Well, I mean, they're all right here. Ooh, that one's definitely got to be pink lemonade because it's got like a little sticker. Oh, I'm starting to catch on. I'm starting to catch on. Yep, there we go. And this elevates the bubble gum. Huh? So you don't have to smell them. You just got to look at them. But I want to smell them. <laughs> All right, well, I think enough of the smelling business. I think this is really fun. I would definitely complete it, but I don't want to go around smelling the hot, humid air right now. Maybe on a cooler day. Instead, uh, to the barnstormer. Ah, oh, look at this. Just a walk-on. Wait a second. So is the standby. <laughs> the Great Goofini. I love the barnstormer. I think it's like the perfect ride for uh, anyone's first roller coaster. And honestly, it's... Probably my fifth favorite roller coaster in the park. Hi. I don't think I've ever rode this in the back row. <sighs> kind of peaceful up here. Kind of relax. Look at that. I got the back row. Uh oh. We're so. Oh no, it's coming fast. What? I think my camera went tipsy turzy on that. <laughs> All right, it's time to head on over to Tomorrowland and uh, make our way to Tron. Bust it right through that billboard there. Honestly, I just keep on seeing like wide open like walk paths and walkways as I'm walking around the park, but it still seems like it's kind of busy. But like, this is not usual. Like. Especially over here, like it's usually a little bit busier. Like I can't, I can't figure out if it's busy or if it just seems busy because it's hot out and I feel like I'm using more energy and I feel like maybe more people are just trying to stay out of the sun and like they're all in the queues or in the buildings. You know what I mean? You don't want to be out like in Tomorrowland right now. Holy moly. Ah, I'm bald. But here it is, Tron. I love the music when you're walking up to the ride. It really gets you excited. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I found out where everyone likes to come and stay cool. It's very breezy over here for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Wow, that's gonna be us soon. Hope you guys didn't get dizzy with that little spin o -Rui. Doesn't look like there's much of a line either for the standby. Huh. All times, keep restraints securely fastened. Oh. Supervise young Team Blue users at all times. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. cold in here. I don't want to leave Tron. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Initiate in three, two, one. Honestly, this is such a great ride. I, I I just love it, and I don't I don't mind that it's so short. There they go. I can officially say I think Tron is the coolest ride in the Magic Kingdom. I mean, coolest like the best ride to cool off on. I mean, just between the ice cold AC in the queue and then the launch, you really cool down a lot. It's like the third fastest ride. I think it has a 59 miles per hour speed, uh, just below Guardians of the Galaxy at 60 miles per hour, and then of course Test Track at the number one spot. Uh, but now. Now that I'm a little cooled off, I think it's time to get something to eat. And I got a walk-up reservation at uh, the Crystal Palace. The Crystal Palace is a character dining buffet. And it is uh, $48 for adults. And, oh, wait, no, that's breakfast. It's $61 for adults. And then $40 for children. And Winnie the Pooh is in there and all of his Pooh friends. It's pretty good food, too. I really love coming to eat here. I wonder if I could take a peek see in there and see if I could see a Pooh. <laughs> Another reason I love the Crystal Palace so much is because it's a buffet and it's probably going to be the fastest sit down restaurant that you can actually eat at if you dedicate yourself to Cinderella's Royal Table, be our guest, Skipper's Canteen, you're probably looking at like an hour, maybe an hour dining because they have to cook the food and stuff. It's the buffet, you can just walk in, eat and uh, be back out in the park uh, ready to enjoy the rides in no time. Oh, that's me, just in time, <laughs> I just walked up. At least drinks are included in the price, and I asked for two different drinks because it's so hot outside. Well, thank you. As long as you're not pouring it over your head, we're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> I almost felt like I needed to. Look at this. Ooh, double fist and Powerade and lemonade. That does not mix well. Let's take a look around the buffet. Start off with some desserts. We got loaded brownies, fresh uh, baked chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies, soft serve ice cream, honey mousse cake, honey bee flan, strawberry chocolate cake, plant-based citrus cake, carrot cake, and honey, oh, I already said that, honey mousse cake. Oh, but we're not gonna eat dessert first. I just wanted to show you dessert first. Now to the good stuff. Oh yeah, country fried chicken right there mashed potatoes we got collard greens broccoli potatoes i don't even know what this is oh this is grits and then they got shrimp rice what else they got honey glazed salmon four cheese macaroni oven roasted chicken oh fancy oh chicken and andouille sausage gumbo what what this looks so good holy moly and then oh over here we got the carving station 
roasted carved beef, pork loin, and pineapple barbecue sauce. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna fix myself a plate. They also have a kids buffet here. Comes with the quesadilla, macaroni and cheese, chicken tenders, all the good stuff, and dinner rolls. Look at this. Pretzel rolls? Oh, I can do that. And we've got some salad, some fruit cocktail, peel and eat shrimp there. Lots of, oh, is that some couscous? We're gonna grab some chicken. I'll take this piece right on top. Thank you. And then scoop sea potato. Whoop. Scoop sea potato. Oh, I need some broccoli, but I'll go on the other side. I have better broccoli on that side. Ooh, carrots. Try, oh, these carrots are the good carrots too. I'll eat a lot of those. I love carrots. I got some of the gumbo, some of the potatoes, chicken, and carrots. It's time to dive in. I'm excited to try this gumbo because I didn't remember them having it last time I was here. Or maybe I'm just drawing a blank. That's good gumbo. Definitely got a little kick to it though. You gotta watch out for that one. Or it might be the sausage. Oh, hi. Hey, you're. Hey, can I get a picture? My mom loves. My, my mom loves you. My mom loves Winnie. Uh, loves, uh, all Winnie the Pooh. Everyone. Your favorite. my favorite, not my mom's. Yeah, you're my favorite. Yes. Oh, you're so awesome. Thanks, you all. Now we got to get to the chicken, potatoes, and carrots. These mashed potatoes changed. They changed. They changed me because now I love them. Like I don't know. I, I remember. I remember coming here and I liked a lot of the food, but I would have remembered potatoes like this. I would have remembered. So good. I gotta get some of this prime rib. Gotta get some of the prime rib, sir. Or is it just carved beef? Strip loin. Strip loin. Yeah. Oh, is there a way you can uh, sear it up a little bit? Yeah, I love it. Not too much. Just I like a little char on it, you know. Ah, oh, fancy. I look, they got a broiler top right back there. You can char it up a little bit. Is that prime rib? Uh, yeah, I think it's strip loin. Yeah, strip loin. It used to have prime rib. Yeah. Strip loin's pretty good, though, too. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Usually they do have prime rib, but today they have the strip loin, and honestly, I'm not complaining because that looks phenomenal. I am so excited. Like, Crystal Palace is blowing me away right now. I don't know if these are big changes or is this a new menu or something, but I'm here for it. The only reason I say I don't know if it's a new menu or not is because if you look online, it's all, it like, all the stuff is uh, the old, like, items. So, I mean, I, I guess I just got lucky today. Oh, there's Piglet. Hi, Piglet. There's Piglet. Oh, are you having a great day? Yeah? Can we take a photo together? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you. It's cold, it's hot outside, so make sure you stay cool. Yeah. Thanks, Piglet. Have a great day. Aw. <laughs> You're the best. Thanks so much for all the good food, too. <laughs> That's the way. We do a lot of taste testing, too. Oh, I would, too. I, I probably couldn't stop taste testing. <laughs> Come back for breakfast. Oh, yeah. I've never been here for breakfast. Oh, my goodness. There's this Mickey churro. Oh, the churro, churro Mickey too. waffles. I heard yeah, they're good. Like spinach on the churro waffles, something you know, it's, it's, it's bright. <laughs> oh, okay. It's really good. Yeah, it's worth it. Well, I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back for you, Piglet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little camera. <laughs> Hi. That is oh. <laughs> this looks so good and it smells even better. I'm honestly contemplating just skipping dessert and getting more of that strip wine. I wasn't expecting to love this as much as I do, but I don't know if like they alternate the meats and I just got lucky today, but this is fantastic. So good. Oh no, there goes Tigger! Oh, he's checking himself out in the mirror, though. 
Eeyore and Piglet were so much fun. I think Pooh and Tigger are making their rounds now. And I think I'm going to skip on dessert because I already had dessert earlier today. Uh, but I've eaten this dessert before. It is pretty good. I like a lot of it. Oh, thank you. And uh, now I think uh, it's time to maybe wrap it up and go out in the sun. Go back out in the sun. Hey, Boo. How are you? Oh, very fancy. Yeah, my mom, uh, my mom wanted me to take a picture with you. So do you mind if we do pictures? Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> You're my mom's favorite. Oh, would you? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Boo. I appreciate it. Aw. Have a great day. I know I just bought it today. Look at that. It's all Disney snacks. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can choose. You can spin it to actually get the, the snack that you want. That's I was like, oh, I had to get it. We can have a slot on there for honey. Yeah, we need honey. That's what I was going to say. Well, thanks, Boo. Have a great day. <laughs> well, I think now I probably gonna throw in the towel I thought I was gonna come back out rally a little bit maybe go on one more ride but the combination of the heat and all that delicious food sitting in my stomach has uh, kind of persuaded me to just go home and see Gracie girl so we're gonna start making our way out of the park but I did get myself a little uh, autograph card look at that I didn't get to see Tigger though he was too busy jumping around because Tigger is like high energy I love I love Tigger's high energy uh, and I might have missed him when I was up at the buffet but I've seen him plenty of times and I got to say hi from a distance and all the other characters are just as cool so uh, yeah I guess it's time to start making our way down Main Street look they even have the uh, Main Street uh, transportation and it's uh, usually I don't see the Main Street transportation out this late what time is it? It's literally, it's 6 p.m. I didn't know they ran this late. I still can't believe the crowds. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's like 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Look at this, 6 o'clock here at the Magic Kingdom. And I think it's a Tuesday. And with that, I think we are done here today. I did have a lot of fun. We got to do a lot. And honestly, I, I, had, a, I had so much fun. It's been a long day and it wasn't really rushed. Everything was just a nice casual pace. I think I got here around, I would say 11 a.m., a little bit before 11 a.m. And it's almost 7 o'clock now. And uh, I just loved it. Like I said, even if it's really hot outside, just take it nice and slow and go through like the, the shops and just kind of relax a little bit. You guys have seen my videos before in the past on hot, hot days like this. Uh, I usually, you know what I mean, am running around because I'm trying to like get a lot accomplished because I want to have fun in the park. But today I took a little bit of a slower approach and I'm walking out of here almost just like I looked when I walked in. Usually I'm just like a complete mess but I'm feeling pretty good right now so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time bye who is the little girl who loves pup cakes it's Gracie girl Woo!